We serve an eternal God, and eternity is a difficult concept for humans to grasp. Each of our lives has a beginning, a middle, and an end. We are born, we live, and we die. But eternity has no beginning and it has no end. Besides this, as believers, when we consider our life, we realize that this is His world and we're just passing through. This is not our eternal home, heaven is. Even though we get to stay here for about 80 or 90 years if we're lucky, in reality, we're strangers here. Our existence is but a shadow. In 1 Chronicles, King David explains it this way in a prayer to God. In chapter 29, verse 15, he says, We are aliens and strangers in your sight, as were all our forefathers. Our days on earth are like a shadow without hope. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel pretty insignificant. But even if our lives are short, God's favor rests on us. It rests on us because we are His creation, a creation made in His image. He loves us with a jealous love and lavishes us with grace and mercy. So yes, our lives are short. David compares a human life to a shadow. But God is a gracious God. And while we remain in Him, our lives have eternal significance. I hope that that encourages you today. And I hope that when you reflect on how short our lives are, you stop to consider how you are living it. Do not spend your days here on earth without purpose. I encourage you to seek out a kingdom purpose. I encourage you to live for Christ. If you're dealing with something in your life that you'd like prayer for, I'd love to pray for you. Just email your request to writecmv at hotmail.com and put the words prayer request in the subject line and I promise to be in prayer for you. In a prayer to God, David says, we are aliens and strangers in your sight, as were all our forefathers. Our days on earth are like a shadow without hope. But in fact, we do have hope. Our hope is in Christ, the one who died so that we might live. And as you live, I encourage you to consider how you are living. Do you have a kingdom purpose? Are any of your actions here on earth kingdom focused? Or are you just living this life with no consideration for what is to come in your eternal life? I encourage you to really consider how you are spending your life on earth because the Bible encourages us to be kingdom minded. It encourages us to store up treasures in heaven. And David reminds us that this isn't even our home.